but we'll see what happens. Kurtzmar won't be taken out of the 144. You feel for those players waiting, though, that they've got half a chance if Chris Dobie gets beat, haven't they? Yeah. If Chris Dobie's beat, the other players have got a bit to do. Chris Dobie left it late last year as well. He needed a win to leapfrog Callan Rids at the time. Yeah, that was in Gibraltar, wasn't it, in the uh, final Euro Tour event of last year? Twelve. Won by wow. Damon Hetter. Yeah, won Ryan by Damon Hetter in our final event of last year. It was some final as well. Match darts missed from Peter Wright. It was a brilliant way to say farewell to Gibraltar. Game and Ryan Joyce, credit to him. He's a li Joyce. just been a match full of setbacks to Ryan Joyce, but he's recovered really well. He trailed 3-0 a couple Olympics. of breaks. Scrappy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was a chance for Kirchmar at least to get down to a finish on the Joy's throw first. Well, averaging more than Ryan. Well, I was going to say, Ryan would be fairly comfortable about the situation, but not after that last treble going in. But there's no certainties with that 58 for Boris. And he's going to get a look at it. That treble seven's had a bit of a pace <laughs> in this game. <laughs> it has. 59. Boris, you require 58. Well... Who will blink first here? Kirchmar looking at tops, and he's got two bites at it as well. That was a long way north, and that is much more like it. It is a seventh break of throw, and might see a treble seven on this combination. It's a treble first. Well, I just wonder, Kirchmar, whether he would have gone for the bullseye there. He's a, you know, a soft tip aficionado. Clearly loves the centre of the ball. He might have gone for it. Might have been tempted, even though Joyce is on 240 minus these. Boris, you require 24. Yeah, brilliant setup play um, for our first qualifier into round two. Getting closer. He's taking a step back. I'm not sure if he's happy with the lie. No oh, that's score. unlucky. Oh, look how close he is Ryan there. Chances are he'll be back. This would be a real body blow, though. Well, three missed match starts at double 12 for Boris Kirchmar, but he will return because 40. no significant punches have been Boris, landed there by Ryan 24. Joyce. Ryan Joyce waiting in the wings on 100, just in case, but Kirchmar with three more bites yeah. at double 12, and he only needs the one. And Boris Kirchmar, a player who is renowned for his ability, once he gets to the European Tour to win his opening match, well, he's done so again. Likeable guy, Ryan Sir, looking forward to seeing on the stage tomorrow. Ooh, lovely. 140. We're looking, possibly, at a fourth break of throw. Well, I'll say that. There's an opportunity for a fourth break of throw. But that has been seriously pressured with that setup shot. That is an excellent visit from Maddows Rasmer. And it's a treble, 17. Well, what a shot this would be. And Lupin misses the ball. And are we about to see our first holder throw and our first little cushion in this match? Well, Rasman missed the ball in the last leg. Lukeman missed three darts at double in the subsequent visit, and Rasman nicked it. Madders Rasman does not return the favour. It's the first holder throw in this game. Guarantee to the Grand Slam if you win one now. Pro tours are not a guarantee. Some will get in off that. Oh, how about this? Madders Rasman, a bullseye for a 1 6 4, and he misses the ball again three times. We've seen players have a go at it in this match. It's been missed every single time, but Lukeman. Might Martin, need it at 88. the end of this. Big passage of play incoming. Oh, brilliant first start. Double 14. Biggest start of the match. And 71. again, when he misses Lukeman, he misses Madison big. Rasmer has sided up this 25 combination in the match already. It was 17 for double four on that occasion. And it's the same route here. He left it to the last start. Well, he's going to need double two here. And 21. he... he it was a bit quick with those last two darts, I felt. Opportunity for Lukeman. Yeah, not something you often say with Madders Rasma. Does play at all kinds of different speeds. Martin, you require Rasma Taz. Now, can Lukeman tidy this up? Big, fat one. Not left, not right. Perfect. Double eight for the lead. And he does lead in this match for the first time. Lukeman was 3-1 down in this one. But if you don't top it up in between, you're going to find yourself falling down the rankings. It's a big match for him later on. Yeah, it really is. Is this one going all the way? That makes it more likely. That last dart from Madders Rasma leaves 70. 
What kind of pressure is he going to be under? Yeah, it was a 10 40 in this exact position in the last leg from Rasmus. 60. But give himself an Man opportunity which he didn't take. 70. But he'd be pretty comfortable looking at this 70, even if it doesn't go on his visit. That's hanging in there. Just double checking. It is in there. It's not very solid. But this to send us all the way. Up to double four. In a mixed relationship with this double this match. But that sends us all the way. And yet he enjoyed that one, but he's got to find a break of throw. There's been plenty of them. But it's Lukeman who has the darts. This could be key. Big legging coming. The two visits. Take a turn. Take 95. Single to a double. That's all you want from this. Ideally taking it out, which he's not going to do. But he has missed so many darts at double in this match, Martin Lukeman. How many does he need to win it? Only once has he managed to pin a dart at double first time of asking. And there have been a number of legs where it's taken him plenty of darts, and sometimes he hasn't even managed it. He will get three match darts minimum here. And Madis Rasmus making a real mess of this, 29. a horrible mess of this. Martin, you require 24. And that will ease the pressure. This for a big victory for Martin Lukeman. And he pins time. the double 12, and there is relief. And for Madis Rasmus, disappointment in his place in the European Championship Finals is yet to be confirmed. He... You know, World Cup uh, representative this year. Well, not for the first time either. 98. Well, that's OK for Killington. One treble combo finish. Yeah, just... Well, one or two Nine shades of the first leg here where Killington is just about doing enough to keep weight to arm's length here. But, uh, yeah, 1-1-2. One, one, he will want to make a big impression with this one. Perfect first dart. Tops. Game show and that is a 1-1-2 one, one, checkout. George and that Killington. is nicely done by George Killington. 15 dart holder Game throw. On. Pressure, though, here from Killington. Significant pressure as well. Now, the way his darts go in the board, Scott Waits won't be that bothered about 20 for tops. He's not moving. He didn't need to. But he doesn't get double top or double 10. And George Killington, the 180 setup shot. And again, shades of leg four when he had that 180 followed by the treble 18. This time it's single 25 for double 18. And this time George Killington finds a way through. There is the all-important first break of throw. Resembling a guide at all there, wasn't it? I mean, it just looks as though he was going to fluff his lines on that one, but he's not fluffing his lines here. Off to an absolute flyer. Killington once again. Sounding like a stuck record. 57 with his first three darts, and Waits has really punished him big time in this all-important ninth leg. 16. I'm not sure he's ever been in a better position on a Euro Tour stage than when he was 4 2 up here on Scott Waits. But look at Scotty, too hot he going. It's back to back maximums, and Waits is on the nine data. Killington just taking a moment here, just trying to set himself up once again. He just needs to recalibrate somehow. Already maybe resigned to losing this leg as well and waits. Well, what a way to break through. This would be done. Luke Humphreys hit a nine data in the final in Hungary. Last time out, Scott Waits is on it. He gets the treble double 12. Scott Waits hits the nine on the European Tour and a crucial time to do it as well. This game has turned and Waits with perfection has turned it by sheer force of will. A nine data after being on a ten data earlier in the game and Scott Waits needs one more leg for a spot in round two. Killington does not know what has hit him. Always said this tournament delivers, and my goodness me, and is delivered in style on day one of the German Darts Game Championship on. in Hildesheim. Scott waits with a moment of magic, and, <laughs> well, Killington looks absolutely sick as a dog on stage right now as Waits celebrates with gusto. 
Well, we've been blessed with nine darters lately on the European Tour. Killington needs this 1-6-1, which ain't going to happen, and waits. The nine dart hero of day one in Hildesheim 65. about to move into position Story to throw 76. for the match and a passage into round two. Double eight for Scott Waits inside for double four. 72. Two George match darts missed 96. by Scott Waits. And if George Killington clears this 96, he would have the darts in a last leg decider. Great dart, double 18. Good Killington top. hits back with a 14 darter. 165 away. Only a single one as well. 81. Well, that George final dart Ryan could, could make the difference. Imagine. Well, you're going to have to because it's not going to go. And will Killington get another chance? Because Scott Waits, who's already spurned two Seven match starts, should get at least one more now. Scott, yeah, two key misses 84. at the bullseye there for George Killington in his approach play. And it allows Scott Waits here for 84. Two bites at double 12. To get the ultimate reward. Nine darters all well and good, but a passage into round two would be very significant for Scott Waits here. Double six, a long way inside, and Dan Dawson alongside me is open mouthed in astonishment at that one. I am. Can Killington nick it? For his first ever win on the Euro Tour. George Killington wins on the Euro Tour stage. It has taken him six attempts to get that win. And ironically, it's come when Scott Waite hit a perfect leg of darts and then missed four for the match in the two subsequent legs. It had drama, it had excitement, it had perfection, and it had a win for George Killington, something we have never seen before. And look at that reaction. Killers through to round two, where he'll face Dirk van Dijvenboda. Here, though, from Lennon, a little, well, more than a tap on the shoulder as well. 88, double 14. Missed from absolutely nowhere. What a leg. Oh, the wrong side. These are no guarantees so for Lennon. If he goes the 25 route, there's always the risk of hitting any segment or the ball. It may just be one dart. He's gone treble 15, so it's going to be just one dart. And it's a double 18. 25. Miss again from Lennon. Marcus, you require 20. Well, I was going to say, Kirschman looks like a player who needs at least five darts at a double, but I think you could say very much the same for Lennon as well at times today. Kirschman looking at double 14 once more. That's a lot closer. That's nudge the wire. Game shot. And that one, well, he used that first. Dart as the perfect guide in the end. Nestling it right alongside. And Kirschman with the break of throw. Means he's got to be there, Steve Lennon. And he missed it last year. And he had a decent run a couple of years ago. I remember him taking a spot the scalp of Christoph Ritaisky. Mm. So there's a bit of money to defend for he's in profit. That's why the tour card's under threat. Yeah, he's 60th at the moment as well in that order of merit. And yeah, this will be, well, he'll see this. OK, tough assignment tomorrow if he does win. But this is a potentially priceless 1,000 or 2,500 pounds as it will be. Yeah, definitely. And a brilliant. Shot in a six leg. Um, the last two legs Steve been really clinical. He's winning legs, 13, 17 and 14. Steady from Steve well. Lennon. Player in the sense he was one of those contenders, wasn't he? So he was obviously billed as maybe one to keep an eye on when they had that format where they invited players to join the Premier League on a one-off. He, he took part in Dublin. Nice. Peter Wright, and he did really yeah, well. he did really well. I mean, that's where Luke Humphreys made an impression as well, one of the impressions that he made. He's made plenty of others as well, but, I mean, that was um, certainly one of the opportunities that Luke Humphreys took. And, uh, you know, he's got wow. World Cup experience as well, an abundance of that. But, yeah. Been, a grand, been a grand slam a few times as well. He's competed at sort of every tournament, Steve Lennon. And when you've had that taste, you want to remain in those fields. And he hasn't been for the last 12 to 18 months. And again, missed opportunities. He's had so many chances to sort of control this match, Steve Lennon. Yeah, I mean, he was 3-1 down. That was to go 4-3 up. Kirschman's making heavy weather of these doubles again. That was a long way inside on the double 16. And uh, yeah, Lennon knows that this is where he needs to really tighten up. It's not nice going up to double five and be missing doubles, ah, but he makes it look easy. He deserves to lead Steve Lennon. Then it's, you start to panic, but Lennon, as I said, an experienced player. And still a bit of work to do here. 
Mark yeah, a little bit of a scratchy visit, that one. Kirschman looking at 94, so a chance here. Single 19. Well, that leaves 69. Yeah, he had to go 25 ball. Dursley himself, double six, but this is for the match. Steve, you require and a fifth consecutive leg. It's only going to be one down for Steve Lennon. Game and it's all shot. he needs. Good performance from Steve, Steve Lennon. There was a little mid-match wobble when Marcus Kirchman went 3-1 up. But he's had a successful 24 hours. He came for the qualifiers, Marcus. Couldn't quite get it done here, but a, a respectable debut. But Steve Lennon with a solid performance. Suits on a potential four-visit leg here. Does he go to the 14s? No, he doesn't, and he hits the treble, which leaves double eight. Now, I think I think that's just a lack of awareness of where Carroll was. I think he hasn't glanced over, has he? Yeah, he's, he's not that sort of player. He's very a percentage player. Well, here it is. Well, it wasn't costly in the sense that he, he had a dart, didn't he? But said the check, unlucky that he couldn't level up. And this has been a bright start for Alan Suter for 2-0. Yeah, brilliant. Really good start. It was... Autumn must be his season. <laughs> He did really well just to qualify for the Grand Slam. Then he was in a group with Aspinall, Sherrick, and he managed to get his way through. He lost. We beat Johnny Clayton in the next round, then lost out in the quarterfinals. 57. It was a rematch with Nathan from the group. Yeah, and only lost that 16-12, where he pretty much matched the average of the Asp, 95. It was a good performance. Another 15 will do. 49. One hundred. Good last time. Alan, four nil incoming if he hits this double sixteen. Seems a little bit awkward, Game but he off. gets in there. And that's a big dart. Alan four Suter. nil double break. Last sixteens at the World Championship really do do wonders. Oh, is it a big suits finish? To see off the game is a suit special. Oh, it doesn't quite complete it. Can you require 146? Well, he'd, he'd jump into the top 32 if he wins his match. It is remarkable how he finishes games. He did it against Daryl Gurney at the Worlds with a 160. There was a 145 in his group match with Nathan Aspinall last year. Did it to Josie de Souza on that remarkable run in his debut 16. year. Sulevich as well. He's got bottle at end of matches, Alan Suter. Webb has cursed him. Game. No, he hasn't. The roar tells you everything you need to Alan know. Double Suter. eight is finally pinned. And Alan Suter, who is threatening the whitewash, produces as big a win on the Euro Tour as he's ever done and brings an end to a four-game losing streak. Suits is through to round two. Attitude from Nico, though. He wants to play, wants to compete, wants to be involved in as much as possible. And he's just the wrong side of the wire there. Would have been a 3-1 lead, but he's still favourite to win this leg from this position. Oh, dear. Well, that's left 109. 72. Nico, you require 30. Straight at the double 15. Yeah, straight in the double 15. It is a break of throw. Shift along the hockey to try and change the angle, but disappointed that he's not come away with a ton to leave tops because 80 can be tricky. Does he get a go at it, though? Well, he does. 137. Dylan, you require 80. That's a good visit from Nico Kurtz, but it might all be in vain. Well, can still get out of this. Treble 19 for double 10. Misses the treble 19. It's four consecutive darts he's thrown at treble 20 there, and he's not managed to hit with any of them. 40. And it means that this leg might be slipping Nico, away, having broken four. back immediately, having gone 3-1 down. He yeah, now finds himself 4-2 down. Nico and Nico Kurtz does allow himself a little celebration. And that ain't going to cut the mustard right now. Well, it's the worst possible outcome, pretty much. He's left himself a bogey number. Nico Kurtz knows he's got two visits from here. 
Even a ton gives himself a realistic chance, and a ton 40, a much better one. And he has got a ton 40. Excellent stuff from Nico Kurtz, who has just ground Dylan Slevin down. But to be honest, it's Slevin himself who's never really settled in this game. He's never looked comfortable. And Nico Kurtz has exploited that. And even there, he was going for treble 13, found the single six, and that just about sums up his afternoon so far. 16 for tops here for Nico Kurtz for a passage into the second round and what a way to finish things off. A stylish finale from a stylish player in the shape of Nico Kurtz who is all smiles once again. That's a little reminder of what he knows he is capable of. Limbo, well, not in limbo, he's in threat of losing his tour card, not making the world. He did win the North American Championship and unfortunately because of holding a tour card he didn't, you don't get that path into the World Championships now so it may be a case of Repeating his antics from last year, Rob, and having to go to the qualifiers again for yeah. the World Championship. He got in last year, convincingly in his final match. It looks like the same case it'll have to be for Jeff this year. Yeah, that's the the well, downside, I suppose, of picking up a tour card. It does close other doors in, in certain respects, but opens doors for others who don't have that regular opportunity. Pilgrim looking at the 130. Bullseye. Well, what a way to start things off. 1.30 on the checkout. And just a little statement of intent from Mr P. Yeah, I don't remember. Well, this would be astonishing. I'd say it would have been a 4.15 leg, but he's still in control of the match. Well, he's completely in control of the match. And what a... There's a lot to like about Daryl Pilgrim here. Jeff Smith is underperformed, but let's not take away from the performance of Daryl. And this is for a 4 0 lead. 60. Daryl required 32. Well, for a double breaker throw. Daryl Pilgrim, very, very impressive indeed. Okay, that's I mean that's a that's a blip, isn't it? Really, 16 data. Yeah, difficult to know what to attribute. Smith's performance to today. I mean, for as well as Pilgrim's played, Smith, I think, has been way below par. But I think once Pilgrim took charge, Smith just unable to find a response. And there's another 180 for good measure as well. And the finishing line well and truly in sight. Yeah, this right. Darryl, you require 94. It, for Jeff Smith, say he's been below par, but Darryl Pilgrim has set his stall out from the word go and what a way to finish this would be 11 dart 12 dart he'll take but there's no pressure Game but that shot. is some performance from Daryl Pilgrim he'll know he's putting a great average there Jeff Smith not a lot he could do about it he didn't perform but Daryl Pilgrim from the word go set his stall out and that is some performance on the big stage a 6-1 victory Jobs require pull that Dan <laughs> I've got your back Glenn <laughs> double 12 for 3 now. <laughs> Double six. 17, well, he's got, he's got loads of time to play with here. Jules Van Dongen, I, the, the first leg was not great. It was a 21 data, but then he was on a 13 data, took that out. He nearly completed that in 14 or 15. This is the sort of Jules 92. Van Dongen stuff that we've been seeing a lot from him. And Patrick Kovac hasn't had a dart at double so far in this game. Now, he may split this. You get rid of it now, isn't it? Yeah, I, I like that tactic because if you go to double two, you're committed, then aren't you? You're not going to bust it. He'll be back, get himself three nil in front. Yeah, and he knew he could really attack it there, didn't he? He's not, he's not worried about missing outside, he knows he can bust his score. So he goes back to double six and gets it. So just sensible board management. You can to cap off a fine display. It's been clinical from Van Dongen, improved Van Dongen, and he looks to wrap it up here with double ten. He's not done it yet. Will he get another opportunity in this leg? Patrick on 69. It's only one dart to save his hopes in the German Darts Championship. This is big for Patrick. And it's a flyer, so more match starts incoming for Jules Van Dongen. Two miss for the match already. Missed another couple. But the last one gets the job done, and Jules Van Dongen rounds off the afternoon session 
with a 6-2 win and a mid-90s average. The Dutch Dragon roaring on the Euro Tour stage.